Hello, today I'm with Jamie Furness, a, a British basketball content creator. Uh, how, how, how are you today? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Thank you for having me on. So, th- th- thank you for coming on. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll get straight into it. I've got a, a range of topics, just all, all about British basketball, really, and, and yeah, we'll we'll talk about them. So, the first one is... It's the obvious one, the, the effect that COVID has had on British basketball, positive or negative. So I'll, I'll let you go first. Yeah, thank you. Well, you know, it's, it's a bit the elephant in the room, isn't it? Um, I think the big impact on, on British basketball starts at the grassroots, really, because, you know, we've really been limited with a you know, lower level of university play, with school play, with, with just playing in the play game, of course. You know, that's so integral to, to building a culture mm. in the country. I think that, that's where we're being hit um, the biggest because it seems like we've, we've been keeping step to step with football, with, with getting elite level sport out. Yeah. You know, the BK are still playing, National League are still playing. Um, but I think, you know, that, that's the big, the big uh, impact is, is at the grassroots. Yeah, de- de- definitely, definitely. So, you see, I mentioned... One of them we've got down is uh, any positive impact. And what I mean is, well, one with, with social media, you know, because, you know, there's been all these accounts on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok that have, have come up through lockdown and, you know, promoted the British game. And two is the competitiveness of, of the BBL in, in particular, you know, with other, with other leagues not necessarily being on at the moment, these high, high quality players haven't had anywhere else to go. So, you know, they've picked the BBL, so... quality in the BBL this year is really good and I think um, you know BBL player I think it's been getting a lot of criticism but yeah the fact that we're now getting something more formal out there definitely and we're able to able to get a product out there at least, yeah you know, we are playing games um, yeah I, I, I think that's good and you know the sky deal is always good and it's not necessarily due to the pandemic but that's when the timing's lined up yeah exactly the BBL player as much as it's been it's not. It's not been great games cutting out or whatever, but you know it's there, and it means that it shows. It shows a bit of professionalism, you know. It shows. Some, yeah. You know, yeah. we've got some, like I said, a proper. A yeah. Proper thing. Yeah. And you know, you hit the nail on the head by saying about social media. You know, it's really starting to develop a community and the, and the culture yeah. of British basketball, which is what it was really missing. Because of course, you had people like Dave Owen, you know, compiling the yeah. stats and everything like that. But you needed something for the more casual viewer. Yeah. And I think that's where the Twitter accounts and the Instagram accounts that post wow. the highlights, post the stats, because especially losing the YouTube streams to BBL Player, mm. I think that's kind of balanced yeah. itself out nicely. Yeah, well, that's the thing, and we're seeing more, more, more and more conversations on on Twitter that we haven't necessarily seen in other years. You know. Like, yeah, so. thanks to Kevin Ware in many cases. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so moving on the. In particular, the impacts of social media, you know, it, it's been, mm. it, it's very good. And I think hopefully when we allow fans in, you know, we'll, it, especially with the Sky deal, I know it's not social media, but, you know, we'll see more and more fans coming in due to the exposure that the leagues get. Yeah, definitely. And it just makes the game more accessible. You know, I, I said that it makes it easier for the, uh, for the more casual viewer, but it makes it more accessible for people like you and I, yeah. you know having the stats compiled, having the highlights posted. And it, uh, it gives you a bit of ownership. It makes you feel quite proud yeah. of, uh, of the community that, that we're developing here. Exactly, exactly. So it, it's, I've seen it being spoken about on other podcasts, uh, an all-star game. I've seen it being mentioned mm. by Karen Achara on Twitter as well. If, if it is possible financially, you know, should there be an all-star game and how, how should it be you know, kind of run? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think the, the obvious answer and the selfish answer is yes, I'd love to see that. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think the game's got a load of momentum going forward at the moment. As we were saying, we've kind of kept step for step with the bigger sports. And if anything, I think in certain ways, we've been able to outdo bigger sports uh, yeah. with how we've addressed the pandemic. And with the Sky deal and the quality in the league, we've got such a good momentum. Having an all-star game would just keep yeah. that going forward, you yeah. know. Um, I, I think... Yes is my answer. Of course, the big no comes down to because of the pandemic. Would yeah, is, is that a sensible thing to do? But um, may, maybe a, a free on free. Yeah. You know, kind of like how they used to do at the start of the season. But 
if, if you had to draft an all-star five, who's going in your who's going in your all-star team thus far? Are we saying international or you know, what? Is there any reason um, on anything or? Well, if we go back and forth, you first and me, then we'll just see what players are, okay. are there. So I'll say mm. I'll say first point guards. Mm. Ramon Fletcher for, for this season. Okay. I'll go Ramon Fletcher. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm a big Justin Robinson fan. Yeah. But I think the way that Gino Crandall's been handing the ball this year and the yeah. stuff that he's doing, he's got a lot of the Kemba Walker about him. So, um, but I think for my first pick, I'm going to take DeAndre Liggins. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I should have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, can, can, play, can play anywhere on the floor, can handle the ball. Yeah. Yeah. So, so num- num- the number two, I'm... Um, and I know mm. I'm gonna pick pure, purely because I'm a Giants fan. He's he's been coming Are up. Real Brady? No, I was gonna say mm. Jordan. I'm gonna say Jordan Whelan. Shoot, yep. shoot in. Yeah. Yeah. We need a six. We need yeah. a six man of the year award just just so we can get. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, number two for me. Now I'm torn. I'm torn, and I know if I don't pick the guy I want to pick, you'll take him next. But I think I am going to take... Yeah, I'm just going to take Dirk Williams too. Yeah, okay, okay. okay the three. The three. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just two people I've got in mind. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with Newcastle again. Justin Gordon. Mm-hmm. He's, been, he's been killing okay. it since he came into the league. Yeah, he was on my list. He was on my yeah. list. Um, we did the scout report. Yeah, we had him in. We like, yeah, liked him. <laughs> um, see, I've got two guards in mind, yeah. and I'm kind of I'm kind of confident with the with the flexibility I've got between Liggins and Williams that I don't need a strict point guard. Yeah. Therefore, I'm going to take Jimbo Lowe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of wingspan on the on the team for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Right, so well, I may as well. I may as well go for my big man. I may as well go for Breon Brady. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if I didn't get Jimbo, I was gonna go for. Yeah. I was gonna go for Breon. Yeah. Um. Uh. I think. As 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 I say, I I didn't. I don't need a, a point guard, but I think for the fourth round, Gino Crandall was great value. Yeah. 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 Uh, I think it'd be silly to to give him up there. Yeah, so to, to round off the five, power mm. forward, I'm going to go another Brit, Plymouth, mm-hmm. a- a- Ashley Hamilton. He's been, he's been leading yeah. that, that Plymouth side. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, no, it's it's down to me. Um, <laughs> mm, chuck a few names out there on my list. Antoine Lillard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Kevin Ware. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tempted to go Daniel Johnson Thompson just because he's from Chelmsford. Yeah, well, um, why not? <laughs> or Raheem May Thompson, who he, would fill that hole. Um, but I think I am going to go Antoine Lillard for my okay. five. Yeah. Okay. So, so what was your five again then? <laughs> so I had, I had. Uh, we'll put Gino Crandall at the one. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then. You can have Liggins, Williams, and Lillard anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> on the wings, <laughs> and then I've got Jimbo Lowell down low. What about you? Okay, uh, mine: Ramon, Ramon Fletcher, mm-hmm. Jordan Whelan, Justin Gordon, yep, Ashley Hamilton, and then uh, mm. Breon Brady. So yeah, mm. Uh, mm. we need we need I'm to see if we nicely. can. Yeah, we need to see if we can make yeah. this game happen. You know, <laughs> we well, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Guest coaches, celebrity game. Because of yeah. course, when we uh, a few years ago, they used to do a celebrity game. Um, yeah. And yeah, I, I remember watching David James uh, play in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, mm. so the league MVP so far. Who, who's yeah. Because uh, there's a couple of candidates. You know. Yeah, there is. There is. Um. I, I think it's a tricky one because it's it's similar to to the way that um, the NBA MVP works, where you know, can you give it to to a player on a losing team? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think, and and it's it's so 
strange that London's able to have two candidates for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I think, yeah, I, I think any one of the three of Liggins, Williams or Crandall, if they were to win it, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, no, definitely, uh, right, definitely not. Right now, I think I would have to say Liggins because, and, you know, I, I'm not saying it, it's a popularity vote. However, he's a big name. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that does play into it, in my opinion. Uh, plus, you know, of course, Dirk Williams has, has a lot of the highlight plays, but the stuff that DeAndre Liggins can do defensively and the way that you yeah. know he affects the game, players don't want to play near him and put the ball on the floor near him. Oh, no. I think that's so valuable. And that's, that's the thing. He, he's, he's kind of everywhere, you know. Anywhere you're looking, mm. he's, he's playing defense on that, on that part of the court. Yeah. And yeah. It, it seems like he's either got a triple-double or he's near enough at the triple-double yeah. at every single game. Yeah. So every game seems like a five by five thing. Yeah. You know, you, you, you fancy him to block everything. You fancy him to get in every passing lane. Who do you have as MVP? You see, I, I would have said Liggins, but because mm. you said DeAndre Liggins, I'm going to go with his teammate. I'm going to go with Dirk yeah. Williams. He's been, he's been killing it. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. Williams, that's my, my candidate. But like you said, any yeah. of those three, I, it, it wouldn't shock mm. me and it wouldn't. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So who do you have winning it all? Winning it all. Oh, mm. oh. oh that, that's tough because yeah. London are London are on a good run now. I think they've won something like seven, seven in a row or something. But yeah, I'm just getting silly. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't want to say London, <laughs> but it, it's yeah. between it's between London and Leicester or Newcastle. Yeah, it's between those three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a difficult one because, of course, London had the problems at the start. So now yeah. we're, I'm kind of in a position where am I going, was that the blip at the start or is yeah. this street the blip? And I think, but when you, when you look at the talent on that team, you, you go, surely, you know, they were just trying to gel at the start. I think that's exactly. it. Um, I, I think a dark horse for me would be Worcester. Yeah. You know, yeah, now got Martin Bautnick and, and then BA. Yeah. You know, I, I think they're they're a bit of a dark horse for me. Um, yeah, other than that, you know, Leicester are always Leicester. Any team yeah, coached by Rob Patton, I'm sure, would yeah, be competitive. Um, but yeah, I think I think they're they're my kind of like, London's my pick. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I, I'll go Leicester. I'll, I'll yeah. I'll, 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 I'll I'll, I say for the sake of variety, you know, it seems like it's always London, Leicester, yeah. or Newcastle. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's always three up there, but. Mm. Yeah. You know that that's good. It's good for the league, uh, especially you know, if we're talking about the growth of the league, it's good having London be good. Yeah, Everyone yeah. wants to look at the at the big cities, you know, London, exactly. Manchester. They they want them to be good. Um, yeah. You know, no one really enjoys seeing Leeds be good. Not that they ever really yeah. were with Chelsea, <laughs> but um, well, yeah, 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 exactly. Well, it's good seeing them be good. Yeah, I'm. Ha- it's very good seeing the Giants be good. You know, after years of seeing us yeah. struggling, yeah. it's, it's nice. But yeah, it makes a change. But of course, you know, yeah. I think especially in Britain, people look at the cities where football teams are big, and they yeah, just exactly. assume that. You know, and and of course, I, I think Manchester Giants really have missed a trick by not making a a red kit. I think that would come a long way, but <laughs> yeah, that's what people look for, of course. You yeah, know, they yeah, the look for that link. Though. They look for that link between yeah. between the clubs. Well, it's like you could, yeah. I suppose Newcastle have done it between Newcastle United there you go. and the Eagles. So, yeah, yeah, the barcodes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But of course, back in the eighties, Manchester United had a basketball yeah. team. So, yeah. um, you know, whether you think that, of course, we have the franchising with um with the unis now. Yeah, um, yeah, which I think is great. I think is great, but. Yeah, I, I I think it's good for it's good for the game to have the city big cities be good. Definitely. You know, I I, I always say to to people, you know, it seems strange that in in uh, the WBBL the big teams are places like Seven Oaks. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you know, not Nottingham's a fine place. It's a fine city, but it's not in them. Yeah. Um, yeah exactly. Mm. So, but they're, they're great this year. Yeah. So the four games tonight, we've got mm-hmm. we're, we're gonna run through predictions. Okay. So the first one, I think, well, we'll go with the Sky one first. Sheffield and the Eagles. Who, yep. who, who are you saying is going to take it? And, and we'll say we'll say an MVP, but we, we won't. Yeah. Um, I, I think, I think I'm going to have to go for Newcastle. Yeah. Um, um, and I think, yeah, I think Ramon Fletcher's a, a, a safe, a really safe bet. What about you? 
I'll, I'll go with the Eagles, but I'm going to go with his mm-hmm. his, his counterpart in in the back court. Mm. Court court says as with court says as yeah. words, he's com- yeah. he's competing for a triple double every single game. He is, yeah. So yeah, yeah. And then, what a team Worcester would have had if they kept him? Oh no, yeah, yeah. Him and Martin about next, yeah. Yeah. So the next the next game um at Bristol Bristol London at um, I'm going to say London, and I'm going to yep. give the MVP to DeAndre Liggins. What, yep. what about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go London. I'm not going to buck the trend. Um, I fancy Kevin Ware for MVP tonight, though. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Right, so, I think the next one is Chesh- Cheshire Worcester. Mm. That, that, that'll, that's a, that's, that'll be a tight game. That's with a good the, one, yeah. With a quick yeah. backcourt of the Phoenix, yeah. and and hopefully Worcester have got Martin Bownet out back. Sorry, because I think yeah. he was injured. Left. He was doing yeah, that's last right. Game. He weren't yeah. playing. Um, I'm gonna go Worcester. Um, okay. I'm not gonna bet against them. I, I like Worcester. I like Worcester a lot. I'm gonna say NBA is gonna have a big game. Okay. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm gonna go Cheshire <laughs> just just, mm. just just to be all good. I'm gonna say yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> Karam Ross, he's been, he's been, yeah. seen, he's been impressive this he's been year. Really good, yeah. he's been really good, yeah. yeah. But I think that the Worcester thing could just, I think it's going to be a game that's going to come down to someone like uh, Henry Wilkins coming off the bench yeah. and hitting four threes. I yeah, think exactly. that that would be the difference. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Worcester have got that depth that the Cheshire Phoenix don't. I think Cheshire running yeah. seven, barely a seven man rotation each game. Yeah. So. yeah, but Ben Thomas is so good for the X's and O's that yeah, yeah, you know he'll, he'll get something out of him. Yeah, so final game. I thought, mm. I mean, how many have we said? said that was three. That was three. Yeah, right. is, yeah. Raiders, Riders, Plymouth Raiders against mm. the Leicester Riders. Well, mm. what, what are you saying? For uh, that that, um, I saw Paul Nicholson tweet that um, Leicester have a ridiculous streak yeah. against Plymouth. <laughs> I um, saw that. Hmm. I like both teams. I think tonight I'm going to go Plymouth and MVP. I'll have LVC Dusha. I'll go for yeah. I'll go for Dusha. Okay, LVC Dusha. Okay. I'm, mm. Okay. I see. I, I want to back Plymouth just because it'll be mm. it'll be nice seeing them break that streak. So I'll I'll back, yeah. I'll back Plymouth. Yeah. And I'll say I'll say the person I put in my All Star team. I, I, Ashley, Ashley Hamilton. Hamilton. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Yeah, that's a good pick there. Yeah, um, I, I think, and, and that's what I love about this league so much, is that we could all be wrong or we could, we could yeah. be right. It's really, really is unpredictable yeah, like that. Exactly. So, mm. I, 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 think that, I think that's it. Uh, but mm. it, was, it was nice. It was nice talking. It was an interesting conversation. And Yeah, pleasure. Yeah, and hopefully we get our predictions right. <laughs> well, here's to hoping. I'll keep an eye on it, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you.